You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. Simple uh, side of things. I mean, that's, you know, that was Monday's story, and that lasted about two days. And then. And then. This the, bomb drops out of the sky. I'm kind of retarded. When you sent me this, my jaw dropped, and I was like, tell me when I'm watching this live. The whole thing. Wow. I'm surprised Facebook even let me send send this, dude, because sometimes they block band.video, like URL. That's go, crazy. Yeah, like they won't even let you send the art, like the video. The URL, yeah. Right. So then we move on to Thursday. And uh, Alex Jones' is, uh, band.video, they have three shows. They have this guy Harrison, they have Alex, and then they have this guy Owen Schroyer. So the guy Harrison does the morning three hours Alex does the afternoon four hours and then Owen does the evening three hours right so it's like an all day live stream but you know they're they're live in their studio but they you know they have like three studios within their studio um so you hear at about 11 well I think it was about 11 a.m eastern time an hour before Alex goes on because Alex goes on at 12 eastern 11 central Alex walks into Harrison's show and says guys breaking news in one hour uh, Kanye West and Nick Fuentes are on their way here. Spread the word. And that's when I got news. I'm like, oh my God, fucking. That's when the alarm starts going off. Oh shit. Here we go. Batting down the hatches. It's like Joker and Batman. Yeah. Here we go. And here we go. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what? A little chaos. <laughs> I was looking forward to this fucking interview, man, and it did not disappoint. Um, we, we make it to Thursday, 12 o'clock rolls around. Alex Jones, Kanye West, the biggest interview I would venture to say as of right now of all time. Thursday, December 1st, 2022. I'm your host, Alex Jones. And in you want to take a shot of Brain Force in, in, in celebratory fashion here? I guess we should, yeah. Because uh, everybody listening in, this is. Uh, this is big. Uh, this is big, huh? You know. Big right here, make dude. sure, you know, you look around the room, make sure, you know, you're not. Gonna scare off anybody. Make sure it's okay to have this up on the big screen. Cause this is a big one. This is the big enchilada here, guys. This here. This calls for a dropper brain force. Probably the biggest InfoWars uh episode in Alex Jones's history. Oh, it's the biggest. Like I said, dude, I'd I'd venture to say this is probably the biggest live stream in a broadcast Insane. format of all time. Here we go, man. I got the brain force in me. All right, let's watch it. Alex Jones, Kanye West, Nick Fuentes, take it away. In studio, Yay is our guest. He's going to be here, he says, for the next three hours or so. And off bat, you see Ye West in the black mask. Well, this is the thing that's, that's come up, dude. How do we even know this was Kanye? Wow. You know, it, it could, I mean, maybe it like wasn't. Like a sound alike? Yeah like, a, yeah, like a voice double. Wow. Now, that's the thing. Now, that's a lot of the conspiracy uh, theorist in me points to if Kanye ever wanted it out, he could just be like, dude, that wasn't me. You know what I mean? Oh, man. So something to think about. And on an InfoWars episode, no less, that would be something to think about. That's conspiracy theory on top of a conspiracy. Yes. Yes. They say, how far does the rabbit hole go? And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And also America First leader. And that is Nick Fuentes, Ali Alexander, Owen Schroyer, and many others are also going to be coming through here today. And Ye has uh, arrived in uh, a, a new ensemble uh, here with us, but I'll assure you it is uh, Ye. Ye, thank you so much for coming to Austin. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, where would you like to start? This first little five-minute segment uh, is, 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 is just kind of a prelude to what's coming up. What do you want to cover here today? And Alex knows how ridiculous this is off the rip. Like, he's like, like, yeah, I got yay, but like, he's in a fucking mask. He looks like a villain, dude, like a Marvel villain. Yeah, he does. This God runs the world and Jesus is the way and the life. And it's time to put Jesus first in the way that we run our businesses, the way we, the way we run our families, our businesses, and the way we run our country. You're... For radio listeners, we're on over 400 radio stations. They they can't see you right now. You're you're. You, this is a new look for you. So Alex is it's gotta be to, hot, by the way. Oh, dude, dude. We I wore that mask on Halloween, the Trump mask, 
I, I couldn't last five minutes. Dude. So hats off to Ye for that. Dude, because there's, there's times just being in the in this hoodie, I'm like, all right, we got to get these lights, like, dial it down gotta, a little bit. got to dial them down, man. That's got to be rough. He was probably in that mess for like three and a half hours, at least. At least. So hats well, off to him. The full gloves and everything. Everything. The, the big jacket. Coat. So look, Alex is trying to understand right off rip. Uh, for radio listeners, obviously you could hear Kanye, but for viewers. Think, uh. Like Baron Zemo from Marvel meets uh, <laughs> nice Darth Vader. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, so uh, Alex is trying to understand what the fuck is going on. And <laughs> I mean, this face tells it all right here. And he's like, bro, in my 32 years of broadcasting, I ain't never seen anything like this, son. How do we take a shot for this, bro? This is exciting. I got one lined up, dude. Let's I've already it. poured. I'm excited for this, bro. This is this is big. Because I know you only maybe watched, like you said, you had to turn it off. I got, through, work. I got through the the first like good little chunk. Like 45 minutes or so? Yeah, half hour, 45 minutes. All right, let's take a shot to this, bro. I'm super excited to dive in. Oh, my God. So much to dive into. Cheers. Well, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Cheers to you, my friend. Everybody listening in the live chat. Enjoy the ride with us because this is big. This is crazy. This is the big one. Cheers. Yummy. All right. Mm-hmm. Push it down with a little agua. That's a good stuff right there. All right. Let's go back a little bit. Let's do it. Let's watch. We're on over 400 radio stations. They, they can't see you right now. You're, you're, you, this is a new look for you. Oh, no. I've been wearing a mask for a while. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've just been wearing a mask for a while. And, and Alex is like, oh, really? <laughs> and then he got the double meaning of that was pretty good. The whole uh, metaphorically speaking. Yes. So this is an archetypal example that the mask is off by putting the mask on. People could take it how they how they want to take it. Yeah, see. Twelve oh nine. Yee doesn't like Alex cursing. I thought this was a pretty uh, pretty cute moment from Yee. Alex is going to curse. He's not going to like it. Let's watch. Bull demands. Well, I see it like this, and I want you to be able to elaborate on this, but I don't, I don't want Yee to get his run because he's got so much to say and he always gets cut off. But so I'm going to try to shut up as much. But he, he, we can go four or five hours if you want. But the main show's actually four hours long. I was just hoping for three. We'll we'll do four hours if if you guys are up for it. But 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 here's what I'm saying. I am a classical liberal at heart, so I love everybody and I judge people by who what they do, not what color they are. And then I look at the things you've said and some of them out of context I don't agree with, but compared to a liberal, a modern liberal saying white people are inherently evil and white people are bad because of their skin color. And then that's what the ADL and Southern Poverty Law Center and these leftist groups in Hollywood have pushed. So they're putting out something beyond even what Hitler said, but reversing it onto white people. And we're supposed to sit there and accept it. And then Ye comes out and says, hey, you know, I see kind of a mafia running things and then he's the devil. No, that's bullshit. Sorry. All right, we're going to curse a little bit less on this. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, Reverend. I'm going to try. I'll stop. So he kind of just, you know, trying to set the record straight, trying to be, you know, Christ-like. And- be, you got the Bible. He's be put, doing the good, the Reverend yeah. Ye. We didn't even mention that, dude. Reverend Ye <laughs> with the Holy Bible. <laughs> dude, Comes in with the Bible. Oh my God, God is good. Blah, blah, blah. And then just goes in about like Hitler. Hitler and the Jew. Like, what? Speaking of which, first clip of Ye uh, Unbelievable. Z- saying he doesn't mind Hitler. So he's Oh my lord. 1550. We're gonna watch Ye. He's gonna throw a little shade at Lex Fridman. We watched it uh on the Tim Pool podcast. Now we're gonna watch Ye throw a little shade at Lex. And, and real quick, the point that Alex Jones just made is, is what I was referenced to earlier. Where I like I understood his point and for him to sound like the voice of reason. All right, so fifteen fifty uh, he's going to throw some shade at Lex, and then he's going to go on to say how he doesn't mind Hitler. Let's watch. For 10, 15 minutes more before me and me and uh, we got a lot to hear from Fuentes. It needs to be heard, but we want to hear from Ye. Go ahead. Well, I, I said with Ali Alexander and Nick Fuentes that we're like the SWAT team of free thought. And I go in with this battle ram at the door and then they come in with these laser beams and have that information. And we work together as a team. A lot of times in media, they want to single out one person and burn them to the core. That is a Zionist approach. And they're asking me to use that same approach. Well, hey, don't say all people, just say specifically the businessmen. And then I go on Lex Freeman and I say who it's specifically, and that's still not enough. They're still taking it too far. Everyone knows and agrees now that it's like a reverse version 
version of American History X, the scene when they put the guy's head against the curve and kick the back of it. And now people are like, wait a second, the, the so-called crime doesn't deserve the punishment. What did I, I thought? Well, that's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. So right there, um, Alex kind of giving the leeway, like, okay, you've said all that crazy shit about the Jews, but you're not Hitler. You didn't kill anybody. You're not a Nazi. He doubles down, says this. Well, I, I, see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. Whoa! That clip, if you clip that out, that might be the most controversial clip we're going to ever have on this show. Oh, but that's not the only time he says it. He says it about 18 other times throughout oh, this three-hour broadcast. Dude, that, when, I, when I first heard that and when he starts elaborating on it, my jaw hit the floor. I'm yeah. like, dude. It's like the scene in the mask when his jaw yeah, like, just, literally like, oh, and just, his tongue just rolls out. Yeah. Alex Jones makes a point that okay, I get it, I get where I get where he's coming from, and, and the guy he's like just takes it and just completely twists it. I was just I was dumbfounded by what yeah. he just said. I think we all were. I, I'm sorry, but um, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the history textbooks, but. Maybe he's referring to a different Hitler. That, he's got to be. That Adolf Hitler guy is a pretty bad guy. Pretty bad guy. <laughs> he's a pretty bad guy. <laughs> but again, two things could be true. You could say Hitler. So I think in the context of what Kanye was trying to get at, where like try to find love for everybody. Hitler was the worst person, probably. Well, one of the worst. Like well, he, Mao Zedong, right, Joseph he's Stalin. Saying if you can take someone that's like the worst of the worst and find something good in them, you're being a good human being. Right. But it's like, dude, you picked Hitler? Yeah, it's like... Like I said earlier in the show, somebody like, say for example, somebody cheats on their wife. They didn't murder somebody. You can find the good in that person, you know, and say other than that, they're a good person. They're a good upstanding citizen. They care about people. You can forgive and find good in that person. Right. Adolf Hitler. Yikes. I mean, the Holocaust happened. <laughs> six, six million. Last time I checked. And... That's not even just Jewish people. That's black people. Yeah. Italians. Uh, uh, the term, I guess. Russians. I don't know if the term is PC anymore, but back then, gypsies. Gypsies, yeah. Russians. People that weren't white, well, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant people, wasps. Yeah. Blonde were, hair, blue eyes. Fell into that category right. of, I'm superior to your race, to your ethnicity, and I want to wipe you off the face of the earth. You pick. Not the best person to model your argument at behind. Remind me to bring up an uh, a um because this is where my conspiracy brain goes. After listening to this, right? You know, I, I I'm not like yeah, okay. He, he says a lot of things like you know I I love him. I want to try to love Hitler and and uh, whatever about the Nazis, but it's like he says something in this podcast where it, it just makes me question certain things so remind me to bring that up at the end of this all right all right i'll hold uh, you to that yep all right cool all right so that's his first time uh saying he doesn't mind hitler so we'll jump ahead we're gonna keep it fast paced there's a lot of clips <laughs> it's just like thinking about it, it's just funny it's, it's, like, it's <laughs> crazy dude it's literally nuts how like where did that come from how did we get here <laughs> how did we get from i mean thinking about kanye in like the 2000s how did we get to this? Jesus walks. God showed me the right. way because I know Hitler trying to. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. Yeah. And now we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, dude. All right. So 2105, he's going to call Alex Adam and he's going to debut, which I thought was hilarious, by the way. So you know who the Israeli prime minister is? Benjamin Netanyahu. Okay. Think about his name. Not Benjamin, but Netanyahu. Right. Right. Remember that. Okay. Jump to 2105. Let's watch. <laughs> oh, no. Let's watch. 2105. This is where Kanye is actually sometimes fucking hilarious. I mean, if not for nothing, it is like, oh my God, it's like laughable. It's no, dude, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. hilarious. It's like, that's what I was saying before we got into this. Don't take it so fucking serious. Try to find the fucking comedy in it, at least. Like, Otherwise, geez. you'll drive yourself nuts. You're like, Jesus, did you just fucking say that? <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh, my God. All right, let's watch. Benjamin Netanyahu is going to make a debut on this podcast. The Israeli prime minister is actually going to be on the show. Let's watch. That's why I want you to be here and be able to say whatever you want. 
I'm quite the historian from a lot of multifaceted yeah. views. So at a certain point, I'm going to give my nuanced views of this because there are power structures and there are mafias and there are cliques and there are groups. And there is certainly uh, leftist Jews that call everybody Nazis. They don't agree with if you. You don't want open borders. Or you don't want your guns taken or you don't want to take a shot. The ADL had a meeting last two weeks ago and said, Alex Jones is an agent of evil. He should be taken off the air. He's the devil because he doesn't want you to take four shots. And I'm like, what are you doing calling me anti-Semitic? I'm not against groups. I don't get into group politics. Adam, I've got. I've, I mean, so he, calls him, he calls him Adam right there. OK, it's whatever. You can get confused with people's names sometimes. Sometimes I can call you Stan or right. something. I, I'll, I'll go by Stan <laughs> the rest of the show. But let's watch Benjamin Netanyahu actually make an appearance on this show. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, uh, Alex. Yes, sir. Um, I've got the perfect answer for the ADL. They are going to have to listen up. What we did is we brought Netanyahu with us. So they got Netanyahu. He's with them. He's with them on the show. The Israeli prime minister is going to make an appearance on the Alex Jones show. It's about to be a huge reveal. Big debut. Drum roll, please. Ah. He brings <laughs> out a net <laughs> and, and, and you. <laughs> Fuck. That is great. Dude. As if this couldn't get any fucking wackier, dude. Benjamin Net in. There's the net. Net and you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking great, dude. Oh, what? Netanyahu, what do you have to say? What do you have to say to Alex Jones right now, Nick Fuentes and Ye? It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Ye. Okay. Alex is at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking priceless. Dude, I've never seen Alex Jones smile like that. No, this is a, a smile of like, like, I don't know what the fuck to do right now. That's a genuine, like, oh my God. Dude, 32 years in the business and ye I've stumps never him. seen anything like this in my life. Dumped. Wow. Look, he even. <laughs> I had no. I don't I know nothing. what to. I got nothing. <laughs> and we're, we're only 20 minutes in. That's why, dude, some of me think this, this like, half of this has to be a troll. Dude, it, it this has to be a this troll. This whole, like, dog and pony show that it's become. It has to be a troll. Gotta be. Right? Like, dude. You, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. Can't be serious. <laughs> God, dude. Alex, I mean, his face literally fucking says it all right there. Oh, my God, dude. 32 years this guy's been in the business, and he's never seen... Dude, this is the guy who's exposed Bohemian Grove, where elite fucking uh, people of the world go and fucking yeah. worship the uh, owl god, Moloch, the owl god, uh, this is the guy who exposes, uh, you know, the P word. I don't want to say it, but something that Jeffrey Epstein was doing. This is a guy who uh, was getting in face of politicians saying how, you know, 9-11 was an inside right. job. And this guy has seen it all. Done it all. Every conspiracy theory about the dark forces that go on behind the scenes in our government and in our world. Hey, he has touched on them all. This is the one that got him. <laughs> this is the one that got him. Dude. Wow. I love it. All right. Let's keep watching. So here, we'll back it up a little bit and let's watch that again. <laughs> Benjamin Netanyahu. Hey. It was bad. It was bad for Trump to meet with Nick and Yay. Okay. I had no <laughs> idea your voice is going to sound like that, Netanyahu. So you don't like Benjamin Netanyahu? <laughs> I just... I, I just I heard about this guy two weeks ago since so like the tweet and I thought he had a funny name. I heard he's like really into like, he's like a super killer. And I could die for saying this. So in case this is the last time you ever hear from me. This is gold. Gold. That's right. so good. 3405. He has jokes. So um, he's going to say he's going to throw some, throw some shots at Ben Shapiro. Obviously Ben Shapiro being of the Jewish community, being a Jew himself, wearing the yarmulke. Where does it say? So he has jokes uh, from Owen Benjamin about Ben Shapiro. Alex has a uh, Alex is at a loss for words. And then we'll just keep it playing to thirty five thirty five, where he's going to call Dave Chappelle a hack. Oh. Let's just watch this all trans. Higher here to watch population eugenics that is happening to this date. I got some uh, jokes here from uh, Owen Benjamin that I want to read about Ben Shapiro. Hey, Candace Owens, unplug this robot before he runs his mouth. Um, 
Ben Shapiro's cardio is picking up shackles. Uh, Shapiro can tell how much change is in your pocket just from hearing a jingle. Um, wow. Wow. Shapiro is just mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. Back to you, Alex. <laughs> Nick, you're sitting over there. You want to say something? Alex, I mean, Alex, Alex is just is like, like, yeah, like, what do I do, dude? That's about as anti-Semitic as it gets. I mean, look at his face. His face says it all. Wow. But again, uh, so the jokes were coming from Owen Benjamin. Kanye was just reading. So Owen Benjamin is, uh, he, he's, he was on YouTube, he's got his own podcast. Uh, not a bad guy. I mean, we might have to look into him a little further. To kind of uh, you know bring him to the light. See what, uh, yeah, where these come from? But uh, so Kanye reading jokes about uh, you know Ben Shapiro, which right now uh, Ben Shapiro and Kanye, I mean they're at a fucking button heads, dude. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's a weird situation because Candace Owens on the Daily Wire, she's you know with Ben Shapiro's fucking you know uh, company, the Daily Wire, you know supports Kanye and Ben doesn't support Kanye so that it's this weird like dynamic so um that'll be interesting to see how that all unfolds. yeah I wonder how, how that'll affect that power structure there's like all these side missions within this one it's like GTA there's like side missions and shit this is like a bunch of side missions and we'll see how it all unfolds so let's watch <laughs> yeah well um I, I agree with yay. I think that um, when you look at what's going on today, so much of the political landscape happens in the shadow of World War II and the Nazis and Hitler. And I think it requires a little bit of an investigation, an examination of where those values come from. You know, people talk about Nazis and Hitler, but the United States had camps as well. The United States put the Japanese in internment. The United States injected black people with syphilis. Yeah, and and the and you. No, no, I totally agree with you. The, yeah, the United were, States has Instagram selling pornography to little kids, and they're selling people are are selling it's prostitution rings. Instagram. So is your point? Let he without sin cast the first stone. You're just. You, uh, Instagram is a prostitution ring. Mm. Like I went 30 days off of Instagram and it was the best part of the fast. Me getting kicked off of Instagram was the best thing that ever happened to me. Cause when I go to it, it's like watching it with the, they live goggles, which is something that, uh, <laughs> Owen, Owen Benjamin, you guys got to pull this up. Dave Chappelle is a hack. And he gets and there it is right there. Dave Chappelle Ooh. is a hack and gets his jokes from it's a lot of his jokes from Owen Benjamin. Oh, Dave Chappelle went on a Jewish platform and said Saturday Night Live. They dropped that nigga. Dave Chappelle said they dropped that nigga talking about yay. And he called me Kanye and I'm supposed to be his friend. Dave Chappelle does not believe in God and does not believe in Jesus. These are the kind of black leaders that the Zionists put in front of us. And meanwhile, we want to knock Herschel Walker, but Herschel Walker changed his life for Christ. And he might have had abortions. Herschel Walker right now is like, Ugh. I'm kind of running for. Uh, yeah, he's losing right now. I, think. He's I, like, I saw. It was, yeah, he's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, shut, yeah, shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm, dude, people already don't like me as it is. Shut yeah. the fuck up. But he doesn't believe in. A so that's Owen Benjamin right there to the left. Um, who is the joke thief? Uh, this title simply reads abortion. Well, sure, Three, what matters is you. Four. I have too. What matters is the, is the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I was just like, I got nothing, dude. I got nothing. Um, let's watch thirty-seven eighteen. Yee's gonna bring back the net, and Alex has is still stumped up against Newsom. There is Alex really doesn't know what to do at this point. Exactly zero chance that we get any kind of regime that's gonna deliver the real Nick, change. Nick, I got a need. question. If I say something that's provocative towards the Mossad, is that misogynistic? Hold on, let's hear from that. <laughs> hey, yay! I'm the head of the Mossad. I'm going to kill you and take your children away from you. Thanks a lot, Netton. Back to you, Alex. <laughs> and the way he does it, dude, it's like, you know, it has to be a troll. There's no other way to with the Elmo explain voice. This. Yeah, Elmo voice, Benjamin Netanyahu, and then look at Al. Uh, please turn your phone microphone around, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm definitely uh, overwhelmed here right now. Um, Infowars.com, tomorrow's news today. Um, listen, all I'm trying to get through here is I believe every group should be able I to be switched his name to Netton. I dropped the, uh, the Yahoo so we didn't have to. I was tired of picking up the Yahoo and the Netton. So 
For now, he's just natting. I know some people call him BB. No, some of you call him Yahoo. But we're going to call him Natting. Wow. <laughs> natting. Wow, Kanye. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, oh, oh. This is fucking great, dude. This is great. I mean, this is like something that like if you're having a long day at work and you're just like dragging along like, damn, dude, it's only eight o'clock in the morning and turn this interview on. I guarantee your day is going to fly by. Dude, it's just it just doesn't stop. It does, dude. The whole time. <laughs> it just it's just fucking. It doesn't slow down. It hasn't slowed down one bit. No, not at all. What you want, man? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm going to say you're crazy. I'm going to take your, your family away from you. We're not done with you yet. You cannot cause free thought. We have to control the history books. We have to control the banks. And we have to go and kill people. Look at Alex. Also, we're in the pedophilia. Ha, ha, ha. Look at Alex. So, <laughs> he just and hopefully you're going to take the mask off. Because this is this actually yay here? <laughs> so, he raises the question right there. Like, is this uh, actually yay? You know? So, uh, you know, Alex is kind of giving him an out right there, almost, I feel. He's like, you know, because he could simply just be like, yo, that wasn't even me, man. That was an, imper an imposter. That's right. Folks, is this how, the face mask yet? is coming off in a little while, hopefully. <laughs> We're going to be able to... Uh... Spoiler alert, uh, the mask doesn't come off. All right, so let's jump into the uh, next clip. 5124, they're about to go to break. Alex calls everyone crazy, like the world. Uh, like, he's really calling Kanye crazy. But you can't directly call Kanye crazy, you know what I mean? No. It's like it's like calling Kanye the N word. Uh, you just can't do it. Um, so Alex is gonna just be like flustered and just be like, you know, everything's crazy. The world's crazy right now. And uh, he's gonna pick up on it. He's like, why did you point your finger at me when you said it? Uh, watch how Alex subtle. Yeah, watch how Alex gets out of this. Uh, fifty one twenty four. Yeah. The bottom of our feet good. and everywhere in between with the first, what we need, everything that we deserve, and then the best that you have for our lives, Yahweh God, in Jesus' name, amen. And perfect time to go to break. Hour number two, uncensored with yay. Nick Fuentes, I'm your guest host here in Insane Asylum World, because the whole world's crazy. Not, all of us are nuts. This is, this is Twilight Zone 2.0. We will be Don't right you point back. At me when you say that. Why is you point at me Whoa. when you said that? <laughs> it's not wrong. Watch out. The inmates are officially running the asylum. <laughs> I'm talking about all of us. The whole world's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, this is that everything. Everybody's crazy. I I I believe that. I'm saying the guest host here because these guys are hosting. We'll be right back with hour number two. All right, hour number two is going to be coming up. Uh, 11935, Yee is going to tell Alex to stop using the word evil next to Nazis and says he loves Hitler. Alex is extremely uncomfortable. So this was the clip. Well, you the made Alex Jones uncomfortable. Think about that. In his own show. In his own show. 119. So the first time uh, we watched, he first say he doesn't mind Hitler. He's going to double down here and say... How he, you know, essentially stopped using the word evil next to Hitler and Nazi. This is the biggest clip right here, I think, of the show. I mean, there's a couple other big ones, but this was like the biggest one. Now, watch how uncomfortable Alex gets visibly. And then he, you ever in an uncomfortable situation and all you could do is like laugh almost? Yeah, you just kind of nervous laugh. Nervous laugh. And you're kind of looking around like, can somebody like save me in right. this situation? <laughs> watch. Alex Jones has the nervous laugh uh -oh. on full effect. Let's watch. That's right. You won't eat. I'm trying to get him to eat. So I'm like, I'm like an Italian. Manja, manja. Uh, so we're going to. I got to watch. I got to watch uh, my accounts because they've been frozen by the Jewish uh, banks. So I, I need to watch my mills. Well, CNN says white people are evil Nazis. So I mean so CNN says white people are evil, not evil Nazis. Right. So, OK. He's like. Just watch. I, mean, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, I, don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to look <laughs> at. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What? Just because you don't like one group doesn't mean the other. But look, I fine. love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. Oh, <laughs> my God, dude. Mario's walking off. It's too much. This is too hot for TV. What? <laughs> He's walking off. <laughs> He's done. He's done, ladies and gentlemen. What? What? He's done. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we had our first walk-off segment. 
What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. It, it gets, gets worse. worse. Watch. It gets worse. <laughs> uh, there's oh, there's a nervous laugh. Well, I have to disagree with that. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect response. Yeah. That was the uh, w- <laughs> that was the nervous laugh of like, are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, let's keep watching. Oh. Let's go back and then let's watch it transpire. <laughs> like one group doesn't mean the other. But look, like, I fine. love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. Because <laughs> uh, Alex knows, Alex knows in this situation, he's like, dude, this is going to go fucking crazy viral. Dude, you know what I mean? This, yeah. The moment that face says it all, it's like, what? <laughs> what did I step in, dude? Dude, that's the headlines right there. That that quote, if you put that in quotes in big, bold text. That's the headline. That's the headline. Of and that's en- that was the headline. Of this entire yeah. this entire circus. Throw out all three and a half hours of this fucking show. Throw it out because that 30 second clip right there is what <laughs> fucking made this. Wow. And what? then watch. I think he says one more thing here. That's oh, unbelievable. Man. Well, I have to disagree with that. Right, but listen, we're gonna go to break. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm the I'm the crazy one here. We're all crazy. The whole world's crazy. And and the whole power structure's coming down. This is absolutely lit. This is lit, 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 lit. Number one show in the world right now. Everybody's tuned in everywhere. Yay. Everybody, Watch. I appreciate you being here. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back and play that little my favorite promo with Yay. And then we're going to air the Trudeau clip. And then we'll go right back to Yay. Stay with us. So Alex is very nervous. He's doubling down. It's lit, 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 lit. It's I mean, he was, I mean, just very nervous, you know, because he knows, like, even on a free speech platform like Bandai Video, he's That's like, like, you're kind of crossing the line, my dude. Wow. <laughs> oh, right. he, oh, he lit something, all right. Oh, yeah. He lit the fuse. Uh, so we'll go to, let's see. <laughs> uh, 130, 131. Yi says why uh, Ben Shapiro is mad. So more shade thrown at Ben Shapiro. All right, here we go. Come out. There's quotas. Well, I mean, Israel's even mean to the Hasidic Jews now. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. They're waging war. Right. So, so, and I, I agree with you. And what they've done to Kyrie Irving is just to say. Hey, Dr. Zelenko, beautiful person, wonderful guy. Mm. He'll tell you. He goes, yeah. What if he called him Bill? Uh, uh, Brandon's saying, he is dropping crazy truths, and I feel like, listen to ye. Okay, listen to ye. Okay. Uh, yeah, remind me to bring up what I had to, uh, what I had to say after this show, because I think it kind of, uh, it just makes you think it's just going to make you think. So let's keep watching. Yeah. It's it, what runs Israel's evil. And so is your groups. Ben I mean, Shapiro just mad that Kyrie won't sign his basketball. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Jesus Christ. Back to you, Nick. <laughs> Back to you, Nick. So, so, but what, what about that issue? I'm sure. You- All right. So that's a small one. Uh, this is another small one here. One thirty four fifty. Uh, out, or he is going to call out Meek Mill, Philly artist, Meek Mill. Let's watch. Right. Then I go to drink champs and I'm drinking and the Bible says King don't drink. Right. I know it's not Milo. I know I'm not saying it in correct, perfect English, but the Bible says King don't drink and I'm drinking and I'm smoking and, I, and I'm using my ego because I'm tired of I'm tired of these like fed. Uh, You're like, I'm lit. I'm let, lit. Let, let me say I'm tired. of. Sorry, I had to play that. These fed celebrities trying to pick on me, thinking that they gangster. We not in high school, Meek Mills. We not in high school, Puff Daddy. Whoa. Not, and everyone thinks that they're so much more gangster, like they got me in some way. Ain't none of y'all more gangster than God, and God got me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that. Oh, no. Everybody yeah. posing, acting tough. It's nothing. If, you're, yeah, yeah, if you talk yeah. about rebel, black sheep, yeah. I mean, you're definitely it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're definitely the black sheep, buddy. You got nothing in common if you think you're otherwise, Mike. Like, but yeah, uh, yeah. So ye calling out Meek and P Diddy, uh, two very high prominent people in the industry who could probably have ye killed and executed in broad daylight. Um, you know, uh, we'll see what comes with that. See if Meek responds. So that was another little small one, but this is a pretty big one. Uh, Alex realizes there's no saving this broadcast and joins ye with a mask of his own. Uh, so one forty four twenty two. If you're watching at home, you want to follow. He's not along. wrong, man. Talk about. Controversial, the black sheep of the group. Yeah, man. Yeah, is it? All right, so check it out. Alex has gone off. Well, he hasn't gone off the reservation. He's just he just realizes there's no there's no steering this ship back. You know, we're 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 off the no, deep end. No, this, this thing has completely gone off the rails. Let's watch. <laughs> Incredible. 
Infowars.com. Well, Ye's got his mask. He's a superhero. Oh, wait. And they all got <laughs> This is great. Infowars, Monster War. <laughs> I represent the bad guys. David Ike's uh, little reptoids. So, now your enemy's in here hosting the show with you, yay. And Alex Jones <laughs> realizes there's no turning this back. There's no reason to be serious anymore. Dude, this looks like, this looks like a good old-fashioned monster movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got the lizard people. We got Nick Fuentes dressed up as Alex Jones. Oops. I'm kind of retarded. Yes, you are, Alex. <laughs> and then we got the ultimate villain himself here, yay. Looks like a Call of Duty fucking character almost. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? That's what I was thinking the whole time. Uh, all right, so that was, I thought, pretty fucking good. Uh, 156, 50, he's going to double down on loving Hitler. Again. So it doesn't stop. Oh. So this is a triple down here, 156, 50. Wow. Here we go, right here. Sonic blocks. I can go to Kim and say, hey, put your family first. Uh, you have someone who loves you. Put us first. Put your children's first. And it's demonic blocks bringing her into traumatic, uh, you know, everything. However, she was pushing to the sex tape. She's pushing to uh, saying that she had sex with Pete Davidson in front of a, a, a fireplace. Hulu does not love you, Kim. Disney does not love you, Kim. Come home, Kim. Come home to Christ. Go to God. Go to Jesus because you saying you might not ever get... Or marry somebody. Great. Go go marry Tom Brady, whatever you want to do. But get Ooh. married and use your platform as an influence to keep... That'd be a power couple, though, huh? Tom that'd be, Brady, that'd be Kim wild. Families together. Don't let the devil use you. And those people that are out there mad at the ability for us to say things for consciousness, we have to, I have to think, okay, white lives matter. I'm going to do a t-shirt. I'm going to make it. You understand what culture is controlled by the Zionist media, making people mad, outraged, going out the street. We're so outraged, but you're not doing anything yourself to change it and follow God and follow Christ. We haven't said anything against the word of God today. God says, love everyone. So if I say, I love the Zionists. God says, love everyone. Okay. So a lot of what he's saying here is good, right? Like a lot of what he's saying is good in this context. Take that right there. That frame of context, okay. And 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 stop it right stop, there. Right there. Stop, stop it. Just stop talking. <laughs> but he's not, and we get this. But he's that, yay. that cancel my account, then I can say I love. Well, we got a. Uh, what is going on, right? Oh, you watch this shit. Man. It's wild, bro. <laughs> dude. dude. Brandon's in studio with us now. He's lost for words. This this is one of the craziest episodes I think we've ever had, dude. <laughs> Brandon's like Alex Jones right now, lost for words. It just it just takes left turn after left turn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's it's. You want to hear him triple down on saying he loves Hitler? It's coming right up, dude. Triples <laughs> down, bro. Triple down on it. <laughs> So if you leave Alex Jones dumbfounded, you said some shit. Unreal, dude. Unreal. Let's watch what happens. Wow. Uh, um, all right. So ye tripling down on the I loving Hitler remarks. Let's watch. Say I love the Zionists that that cancel my account. Then I can say I love. I, I did not consent. I do love Hitler. I do love the Zionists. I love everyone. The, the the Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. I think more like someone that's on the spectrum. Since that's what they want to claim. Well, let me be on the spectrum of love because love. But that's a good T-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex is like. <laughs> Alex knows, dude. I mean, oh my god. 32 years in the business. Alex knows he's like, bro, this is going viral for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> like, let's just, I mean, what are we doing at this point anymore, bro? I'm done. <laughs> really <laughs> banned video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's watch that again. Cause, uh, sorry, I was trying to turn my speakers on so everyone could hear in the room oh. here. Uh, but here, let's watch yeah, out. Yeah, he more knows. Time. I, I'm curious to see, are we still up on YouTube and Facebook? Like, are we, <laughs> are we banned yet? Like... Facebook is, we're still, 
I think we're still good on Facebook. We're definitely good on YouTube. So Facebook wants to throw me off fucking uh, their platform for wearing a Trump mask, but uh, Kanye West and Colin saying I love Hitler, man, they'll keep me fucking rolling. I, I am pleased to inform we are still live on both Let's platforms. fucking go. That's a win for free speech, motherfuckers. Three air horns in that Everybody, bitch. as Terrell Owens once said, get your popcorn ready. Maybe he did the dance with That's the Cowboy right. Stadium. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of T.O., do you see the fucking... He fucked some dude up in San Francisco. Yo, he speak? fucked that dude. dude. He, he warned him, too. He did. Get out right. of my way. Let's watch Kanye West warning everyone his love for Hitler. Everyone. The, the, the Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. I think more like someone that's on the spectrum. Since that's what they want to claim, well, let me be on the spectrum of love because love... But that's a good animal. t-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm joking. Well, and I think what, what, too, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, I, love, I love Zionists, too. Go ahead, sorry. I love Zionists. We love everyone. You're love just saying love humanity key. and stop getting past the labels. It's Lo a very... Love is the key. Every Wait, hold on. Let's go back to this freeze frame right here. I mean, everyone in this photo, I mean... It's they're... just so uncomfortable. I mean, there's a reason why everyone in this picture is banned off Twitter, right? Um, this is a PR nightmare for all of them. They all know it, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm never getting my Twitter back. He's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm fucked as well. Alex is like, dude, I got to save whatever I have left because I'm bankrupt. Future president of the United States. Are you sure it's going to be the United States or is it going to be the United Reich? The United Jesus Reich. Christ. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Jesus that, Christ. That, that cancel my account. Then I could say I love. I, I did not consent. I do love Hitler. Oh I do God. love the Zionists. Oh I love God. everyone. The, the, the Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. And I that. get again. I get what he's trying to say. Like here. even Alex Jones. I get love everyone and stop putting labels on people. But yes. you don't. You, you could just leave it at that. You could you could even go as far as saying, "I love everyone, even the people who have, uh, you know, um, wronged me, wronged me, or have you know committed mass atrocities all over the world. I love them because I know they're a child of God. You know what I mean? But then to say, "I love Hitler," is like, is a spit in the face to six million people who have died. You and, know, essentially, and, that's the outrage. All the people that, yeah, all the people that are listening in that are, because look. There, there's probably a lot of people that are Jewish that grew up loving Kanye's music. Sure. 100%. And because to Alex Jones' point, it's like, all right, look, somebody has an opinion you don't like because because of the color of their skin, maybe because they're white. You go, oh, you're, you're a white supremacist. You're this. You're a bigot. You're a racist. It's like, no, I just have an opinion right. on something. Right. I'm, you know, but that's one thing. Cause like the, the 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 far far left does do that a lot, and it's a problem. Yeah, um, they use labels, right? And that's where it stops. Yeah, <laughs> because even Alex Jones is like, "All right, I have to disagree there." Yeah, <laughs> you you say you're spitting in the face of people. It's like, dude, what? You love you can't say that. Yeah. yeah, you just can't say that. Yeah, and expect it to just not be a thing. And, and then the, to expect people to understand you, it's like they're not. No. <laughs> well, it's like, all right, at least at least try to elaborate, right? It's like at least if you're going to double down, triple down, quadruple down on, you know, your your love for everybody, including Hitler, it's like you at least got to elaborate why. And I get he is elaborating in this instance saying, you know, uh, I, you know, I, I try to love everybody, you know, I'm on the spectrum. So let's try the spectrum of love. I, I want to love everybody. And I get that. But it's like you have to understand the backlash and and the, the uh you know the consequences of your actions. You got to understand that that's going to be people's knee jerk reaction. I dude, mean that is so fucking. You nailed it right there. It's that knee jerk reaction, dude. That like we said it. That's the big bold headline. Yeah. That's what people are going to see. They're going to refer right to that. That's going to be clipped out millions and millions of times. Oh, over. it did. It was. And it already has. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's keep watching. Um. So we're going to go to uh, 205.55. We're going to get off the Hitler and Nazi talk here. Thank God. All right. Um, we are getting off that train. <laughs> getting a little too uh, hot in here. Oh, can you say? Oh, hot under the collar. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So we'll watch 205.55. And this is going to be the historic return of Alex Jones on Twitter. So everyone knows since like 2017, Alex Jones has not had a Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, none of that. He... At the time, 
of this uh, podcast still had his Twitter, Yee's Twitter, and let uh, Ali Alexander, Nick Fuentes right here, and Alex all tweet from Yee's Twitter. Here, so I got to, this player sucks, dude. We'll play it from right here. Let's watch. I would totally support blasphemy laws. Totally. You know, and I don't want to speak for him, but you know, what Nick points out is that you have to have a right to dissent. That is way more powerful than, you know, move free speech where we're actually rigging the system to have what Ye is talking about, Instagram and pornography. Absolutely, Ollie. We're going to come right back to you in a moment. Ye wants me to tweet on his giant, uh, what, 35 million viewers, 36 million? Yeah, we're going to have Alex Jones uh, put up from my Twitter. Hi, Ari Emanuel. How's it going? How's how's your wife's clothing line? Here, let's do an overhead shot here, please, guys, so I can do this. I haven't tweeted in so long, I hardly remember how this works. You guys do an overhead shot for me? All right, so this is uh, Ye's phone here, and I just want to say I love, love, L-O-V, the Jews. <laughs> that true? Would say that? It's true. I do love them. First, how do you say amendment? A-M-T? What's the abbreviation? Um, A-M-D-T, I think. Not sure. Yeah, I got it. I love the First Amendment. Uh, long... Live, yay. We gotta capitalize that though. All right, I'm gonna tweet that. I love the First Amendment. Long live, yay. I hope. No, 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 no. We're gonna pray. No hoping. We pray. No, I, I pray. Uh-huh. Pray, Elon. Elon is for real. No, pray to God, not to Elon. Pray that God. Uh, I pray to God. I agree. I'll say that. I pray to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Say His name. There's power. There's strength in the name. Jesus. Okay, I pray to Jesus <clears throat> that uh, that that Elon is for real. What is? What do you mean by for real? What does that mean? For real about what? Be more. Specific. Trying to free up the internet. Write that. Right there. Elon, the, I, I believe he I, is. Pray to Jesus. That to Apple me. doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the internet. I hope he's for real. No. Pray that Apple doesn't deplatform Elon for freeing the for. Well, he just met with him. He says he's not now, but I hear you. <laughs> and then dot, dot, dot. I love the First Amendment. Long live ye. I pray to Jesus that Elon is for real. Bam! I'm back on Twitter. Alex Jones is back on Twitter. And uh, shortly after, Yee's account was banned. So uh, we do still have that tweet, though. All right, so we'll jump. We got two more clips. This is a big one here. 218.40. A lot's going to transpire. <laughs> Damn, I'm wheezing like crazy, bro. I've, I've been laughing too hard today. It's that smoker's cough. Holy shit. Mm. All right, we're just That's at. so funny. We're at the four hour mark, dude. We've been doing this for four hours already. Oh. Oh. Shout out to you, Mario, and shout out to everyone watching. Yeah. You too, John. Man, we've been holding it down over here. Um, all right, two eighteen forty. We got two more clips. We're gonna uh, watch a couple responses. We might save it for after the break, but we might not. So uh, we'll see. But we got two more clips. This is a big one. This is he says Ben Shapiro was disrespectful to Candace Owens. Then he goes on to say how he doesn't even care about the Jews. Then describes how he would sing to himself about the Clintons coming to kill him. Goes on a tirade on how he is a Nazi. Alex tries to understand, but is just flabbergasted. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. That, dude, that, that alone, the title of that clip alone is enough to unpack. Well, there's a lot that happens. Holy shit. We're going off the rails here. Oh, yeah. We're going off the rails. Why are you doing rails. this? That's what needs to be broken. All right, here we go. 218.40. You know it's like, Let's I want to say with Ben Shapiro... He was so disrespectful to his employee, Candace Owens, for speaking out against me. And that just showed you another level of this kind of control that's out there. No, I agree. I like Candace. She has a lot of courage. She's a really smart, beautiful lady. She's really defended you. Uh, But, I mean, are you saying Ben Shapiro's got her on a leash? I think it's pretty obvious. So that's pretty... uh... Kanye throwing shade at Ben yeah, Shapiro pretty damning. again, saying that Ben's got Candace on the leash. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. You know, as our Paul Watson, we didn't launch her. She deserved it. But InfoWars launched Candace Owens. Yes, but everyone is still controlled by the Jewish media. We need to serve Christ first. 
Christ first. Everyone, period. Trump. Okay, but you say the Jewish first. media. Let, let, let me just bring up a real world example. I'm not this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. I only met Matt Drudge once. He came here, hung out a few hours, and went to dinner. He's Jewish. I never asked for anything. He never told me what to do. He only sent a few emails here and there to writers uh, saying, hey, you know, uh, when you break something, email it to me. And he was a Jewish guy that totally helped us go to the next level. We would have been successful without him, but he, he like, supercharged it. Then suddenly he flips the other side, never talked to him again, and, and his website's like a Democrat hellscape. But I'm just saying, it's like I've known a lot of Jews in my life, and I didn't have the Hollywood experience you had. Uh, I actually, all the Jews in my life, uh, overall, were, were, were very nice people, is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm actually tired of hearing about the Jews. Like, I love them. Honestly, I don't even care that much <laughs> you know but we I, spent the last three out two hours talking about him because I mean. it's fun it's fun being so right there i think right there that's kanye's way of kind of like because when you do a troll you have to give the people watching an out right and i think that's the out that kanye is giving everybody that's mm -hmm. saying that don't take this at face value it's right. fun to troll you know essentially right. Let's keep watching. You don't want to hear about them. You want to talk about them all because day. Because being canceled is fun because we're showing you guys the extent that you can go, right? Because everything at this point that you do proves my point. Watch this. If I say Death Con 3 and then you cancel all of my deals, you proved exactly why I needed to go Death Con. No, no, I agree with let what you just said. Let me stop you. Because Dave I'm, I'm, Chappelle. Alex, Alex, Alex go ahead, go ahead. let me channel. All right, let go ahead. Let me channel. All right. If, if, if I... Uh, and uh, Dave Chappelle works for the Jews anyway. So if, if I say... Another shot at Dave. Uh, now I forgot what I had Jesus. to say. Let me meditate. Let me get into a place. I'm right sorry. Here. Go ahead. Love you, brother. Uh, Jesus is king. Um, if I say... If I go on this, on this interview and I say, I love Hitler. And then they go and 5150 me and try to lobotomize me like we saw. 5150, obviously, for people who may not know, is uh, you getting institutionalized, people forcing you to yep. be uh, submitted the, uh, to The a, code for the criminally insane. Yes. Harley passing act dude. Or they put me in prison. It just proves what I'm saying. And it's going to spark the high schools. It's going to spark the grammar schools. It's going to spark the colleges that say enough is enough. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how on the spectrum you think I am. I have the right to speak out loud. That is our first amendment. And it's a shame that you have to be considered to be on the spectrum to have enough courage to speak out loud. I do love my family, right? But I looked at every possible outcome. I've practiced Chinese water torture on myself. That's pretty fucking wild. No. Kanye's practicing Chinese Where did that come from? <laughs> water torture on himself. Okay. <laughs> so if it hasn't gotten crazy enough, Kanye keep him coming. Now picture Kanye like uh, uh, alone in his Malibu house, uh just like putting himself like on a on a floorboard. Just waterboarding himself. Just <laughs> <laughs> It gets crazier. Watch the song that he would sing about the Clintons. I would, I, I would like skip along Malibu in front of my house and sing, when the Clintons come to kill me, how is it going to be? What are they going to do to kill me? Wait a second. Netton, what do you have to say about this? Brings back Netten, the net. I want to say Netton. What I'm trying to get at here is, yay, <laughs> that I, I don't think the father of the future revolution against tyranny is Hitler. And Hitler said a coming man was coming that would be the next Hitler that would destroy the New World Order and the whole system. He, he wanted his own New World Order. He thought it would come out of America. Do you know about Hitler and his coming man? No, I don't know about that. But what we have to... Well, I just think you it. should not want to be Hitler's coming man. I didn't say I was. I don't, I don't really care that much about Hitler. I love him. Seems like... Do you just do it as a way to, like, a troll... No, he seems like a cool guy. You know, it's like he, uh, <laughs> Alex is, he, you know, look. it's like he had a really cool outfit and stuff, and he was a really good architect. And, uh, and so he, you're in love with the, with the, with the, with the, with the architect, the, the, the look of it. And he, Alex is really trying to give Kanye a, a million he, different You gotta outs. be fucking trolling me. He, he, at this point, you're, you're trolling. You're either trolling, but if you're not, like, I'm giving you outs. Okay, you love Hitler, but okay, so the reason why you love Hitler is because of his uniform. Right. Not the actual guy. 
Not the actual guy who killed people. But even that, it's like, oh my God, such a reach. Right, it's a reach for sure. But it's like, what else can you do at this point? You know what I mean? You, you've, you've said, I love Hitler 10 times. That's unbelievable, dude. He didn't kill 6 million Jews. That's just like factually incorrect. That's Guys, so get the Ronald Reagan clip they showed me yesterday. So Kanye's saying Hitler didn't kill 6 million Jews. It's factually incorrect. He wasn't responsible for that, though? Well, and remind me to say what I had to say, because it kind of goes hand in hand with this specifically, but get Sorry, go ahead. Ronald Reagan said that, too. Well, I think Hitler did target and kill some people. So I think, you know. I think Obama killed Palestinians. <clears throat> no, I hear you. Here, here's where I think the frustration is. And Nick, you can comment on this. And Obama was not the first black president. He was another Jewish president. Americans are tired of hearing that we're Hitler and that we did bad things when we defeated Hitler. And that's my Look, biggest beef. Let's is, not say his name anymore. Only say Christ's name moving forward. I agree. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I, I'm tired saying. of hearing I'm a Nazi. I'm really sick. I'm not. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people are going to become Nazis. I, I am. I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Water's about to walk off again. Two walk-offs in a matter of a half hour. He's done. Rip. Rip. Mario's dead. Wow. Kanye admitting he is a... And, like, emphatically, like, me, me, over here. Yeah, look Pick at me. me. I'm the Nazi. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yay, what? Bro. Watch it again. But I think by them falsely I, accusing I, people, some people are going to become Nazis. I, I am, I am. And he points, the, you notice Alex, like, he, when he says some people are going to become Nazis, and he's like pointing at, look, watch, this, this, watch. But I think by them falsely accusing I, I, people, uh, some people are going to become Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, you better watch your guy, dude. He's you better get your boy, get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. I, I am, I am. <coughs> now what? I am. Now what? what? Now I'm a Nazi, Aria Emanuel. Isn't oh that what it said? God. Because this is the thing. So you're this doubling man, down. Uh, look, look, Alex. I love you. Do not cut this uh, rant, rant off. I'm not. You're live right here. Okay, so. We're in America. We get our history stolen. I mean, mad respect for Alex Jones for just sticking this one out. Yeah, what a trooper, dude. And I get it. I understand. You have to. Um, you know, because you want, you want Kanye to be able to say what he wants to say, and then you want the people to decide whether or not they're going to embrace Kanye or, you know, um, disavow Kanye. Right. And Alex, like, you know, Alex held his own there, you know, um, and he really did everything in his power to to help Kanye, like kind of like guide him in like, OK, you could be saying all this crazy shit, but let's say in a way that makes the normal person right. that's not into all this shit right. understand the normal, the everyday listener is going to hear that and be appalled. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just appalled. They're not. Imagine if our parents heard this shit. What would appalled. they say? You know what I mean? Because they, they come from an era where, like, all that shit's just taboo, right. consp well, conspiracy theories. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, ugh, I dude. even have friends that would see that, uh, take that at face value and just be like, that's disgusting. Right. Like, and it's understandable. I mean, you, how, how can you blame them? All right. So we're going to go to the last clip here. Uh, 23710. This is the clip on TikTok that was blown up for me. Uh, got probably over 100,000 views. Uh, on YouTube, doing pretty well. Uh, I think it's at like 3,000 now. But this is Ye West calling Tim Pool an NPC. It's the last clip from the InfoWars band dot video. Biggest dream of uh, the internet. Man, that was quite a ride, dude. Oh, dude, I'm living high right now, bro. Wow. This this is, uh, you know, this this was a good one. It's insane, man. Unbelievable. Let's watch. The forced COVID inoculations. I mean, this this is a wave in the right direction. Why did you think you were able to do three hours here? You just did three hours, three minutes, by the way. Uh, or no, 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 you had done three hours, three minutes. Why were you able to stay here, but not with Tim Pool? Why were you able to do three hours on my show and not three hours or any hours with Mind Tim Pool? Well, he got, what, 20 minutes in? About 21. Yeah. Because Tim Pool got the call from those boys 10 minutes before I got there. And said, flag this and flag that. Also, Tim Pool is the NPC. You know? Whoa! Oh, shit. Non-player character. I'll just say yes for the uh, for the people listening in that may not know what an NPC is. So, like, if you want to elaborate, if you're playing, uh, you know, a like Grand Theft Auto style game, Call of Duty style game, an NPC character are the characters that are just kind of in the background that they these games create just to kind of fill up fucking the uh, the realness of the game. Essentially, non-player characters. We actually probably do have some real NPCs in real life. Like, I see some people that I'm like. 
That's what the not fuck a real is that? person. Yeah, that's not a real person, dude. <laughs> that's seriously a, a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Uh, so Kanye, um, obviously walked out. We covered. Uh, walked out on Tim Pool's podcast and is doubling down on uh, Tim Pool, like not being legit, not being uh, Mr. Free Speech that Tim Pool claims to be. Um, you know, uh, calling him an NPC, I think is actually Tim Pool got off like unscathed with that. Like it's not the worst thing you could be called. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Before I got there and said flag this and flag that. Also, Tim Pool is an NPC, you know, and you're a real, a real. Watch, watch Nick Fuentes too. He just like nods along and fucking agrees. This and flag that. Also, Tim Pool is an NPC, you know, and he's like, yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, we got through it. The most banned interview in the world. Alex Jones, Kanye West, Nicholas Fuentes. Everybody take a deep breath. You made it. You made it. Are we still live? So as of right now, YouTube, we are still live. Facebook, we are still live. Let's so go. Shout out to rolling. YouTube and Facebook for not being uh, little bitches about this whole thing and keeping us on air.